I don't believe it. They, they, these two have been through so much, and, and now they're finally together with their baby, and all of a sudden they're criminals? That doesn't make sense. I know. But the law is the law, and it's, well, there's just no getting around it. Well, to tell you the truth, Mrs. Baxter, I don't know if I want them to be found, or if I'd rather they just disappear somewhere together. Daddy, Daddy, it's the baby. He's sick. He's sick, and I need, I need to borrow some money real fast from you if I can. I can't even pay the hospital bill or, the, or get the medicine. Um, I, I understand, and I'm happy to chip in, but uh, do you think we could discuss this later? Because I, I have company now. Oh, and, no, 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 Daddy, I can't wait. I can't wait. Please, come on. Um, look, why don't I take your number, and, and I'll call you back. Is that all right? No, that's not a good idea. Look, the police might try to force the number out of you, Daddy. Listen, uh, uh, well, I'll call you back, okay? Uh, okay, bye. Sorry about the interruption. Who was that? Excuse me? I said, who was that? I don't think that's any of your business. Well, I'm making it my business, young lady. If that was Jesse, I want to know. Look, Mr. Baxter, don't get rough, okay? It wasn't Jesse. It could have been. You were acting awfully nervous on the phone. Well, uh, if you must know, I really don't like talking to my boyfriend with someone breathing down my neck, okay? Okay. I believe you. Thank you. But just remember, just don't get it into your head about protecting Jesse. If he tries to call you, you let me know. Jesse will not try to call me. He'd be foolish to call here or anywhere. Maybe, but he may get desperate. And if you try to help him in any way, I'm bound to find out about it. Understood? Yes, you've made yourself very clear. Just so we understand each other. Is that all? Yes, for the time being. Good, because I do have a lot of work, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll be going. Just remember, if you hear from Jesse, you let me know. It's for his own good. He can't stay hidden forever. Of course, Mr. Baxter. Goodbye. Of course, Mr. Baxter. Jesse. Mm. It's better than the hospital any time. Yeah. Right, darling? At least it's warm in here, huh? Yeah, you know, with this fever, I wouldn't want Frankie to get another chill. But the doctor said the fever should go down if we give him his medicine regularly yeah. and keep him in even temperature. He should rest peacefully now. Hmm? Now, sure, I'm glad that the manager found this crib. Poor little kid. Poor little kid, I wish you could have had more fun, you know, the first day with your real mommy and daddy, huh? Well, the important thing is that he's fed and he's cared for. Mm. Hey, we've got a whole lifetime together to have fun. Yes, yeah, sure. Jess, mm -hmm. you know, we only have enough medicine for tonight. Yeah. So first thing in the morning now, we're going to have to go and have this pres prescription filled. Yeah, well, um... I have a little problem with that. Why? Are you afraid you'll be seen in the drugstore? No, the fact is, Angie, that we're real short on funds already. Oh, no, Jesse. How can that be? Well, I didn't really want to bother you with that so soon, you know. Well, I, we had $210. Where did it all go? You know, well, having to pay rent here in advance and then oh, buying all the baby stuff and everything, you know, just... Jesse, what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I still got to pay that hospital bill. The clerk said I have until tomorrow morning to pay the balance. Jesse, look. Frankie needs his medicine. Now, that has got to come before the hospital bill yeah. or our eating or anything. Yeah, if right. something happened to him, I would die. All right, calm down. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure something out, all right? I called Danny already, and she said she's going to loan me some money. You know, I got to get back to her already because she might be leaving. She couldn't talk on the phone, so I got to call her now. How is she going to get the money to you? Is she going to drive down here? No, I don't want anybody to know where we are, so I'm going to drive up to Pine Valley tomorrow morning, okay? Oh, no, Jesse, please don't do that. Now, look, the police are going to be looking for you, and if they find you, Frankie and I are lost. We couldn't make it without you. So I, I wanted you to be the first to know what my plans were going to be. Well, I appreciate that. 
Now that Cortland Computers is kind of over with, I'm going to be kind of officially unemployed. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. That's all right. I mean, it wasn't my fault, and there's nothing I can do about it, so I guess it's not the end of the world. No, I know it's not the end of the world, but, I mean, you... Well, you invested a lot of yourself in that, and I'm, that's a shame. I think I invested a little bit too much in it. I think that I let my private life go to waste because of it, too. Nina, you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. But now I'm kind of glad that it's over with so that I can become Bobby's full-time mother again. What? Cliff, I want to be his mother again. I want to take him to school and, and fix his lunch for him and pick him up afterwards and take him to the play group and everything. Uh, those, like that. those are all things that Mrs. Gurney does now. Well, maybe we don't really need Mrs. Gurney. Maybe Bobby does. Bobby's used to her. Bobby likes having her around. I'm not about to get rid of her. Uh, Cliff, I'm his real mother. Yeah, well, what if you get tired of being his full-time real mother, Nina? What if Cortland Computers is back on the boards again, or you get offered another job? Here, you go after your career, and I go I'm looking for somebody to take care of I've body. made my decision. What if your father calls? You go chasing after him. Cliff, I'm going to run my own life from now on. I know for a change, but I am. I just don't want to be his mother in name only. I'll tell you what I'll think about it, OK? All right. Hey, listen. Hey. If this Mrs. Gurney thing is something that you are really worried about, then how about if the two of us take care of it? <laughs> a part time. That's a possibility, I guess. Let me go up and talk to her. I'll ask her about it oh, right no, now, she, okay? Oh, no, she's already split. What? She's, uh, she's with her sister right, in, in Landview. She borrowed my car. She won't be back till tomorrow morning. All right, then I'll talk to her tomorrow. Okay. Maybe the two of you can work something out. I'm sure we can. Yeah, I think it would be good for Bobby. Having you around a lot more. Well, I personally think that it would be good for all three of us. <laughs> I will see. Kiss Bobby goodnight for me? Yeah, yeah, I will. Good night. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Good night. Give me a beer, quick. Good night. Oh, out of breath. You guys call yourself athletes? No, 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 just a little out of shape. We raced yeah. all the way back from the store. The only reason he won is because I had the brew. Oh, come on. No, man, it weighed me down. I can beat you uphill or down. Don't blame it on the beer. Hey, man, be nice. I got the popcorn, too. Can I borrow the kitchen for a couple minutes? Oh, sure. Be my guest. Just uh, clean up, OK? You got it. I won. How long are you two planning on staying up? Until the game's over, honey. But don't worry. The way the Lions are playing, we're going to hang on to this lead. You can put your money on it. I'm sure, folks. Sarah wanted to lay things quite a bit. We've got quite a ball game going. Central State leading Southwestern. Sounds State. like it's going to be kind of a long game, isn't it? It's an important game, huh? Yeah, so I gather. What's the matter? 35-yard line. That's a return of 61 yards. I just had some ideas about how maybe you and I could spend the evening together, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait for you upstairs, huh? Oh, honey, don't sit up there counting the minutes. Why don't you come down and join us? We'll munch some popcorn, have a good time, watch the TV, drink some beer. Come on. <laughs> come on, you know I'm not a football fan. Well, maybe our son will be a football fan. <laughs> we ever get around to having one. What's that? Things could happen very quickly in this ball game. It's a good time of the month. Oh. Well, in that case, I guess there's something much more important. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you think that. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, you. Okay. Come on, you. 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 Come